the question that we had to solve was to input five numbers, find and output the sum and the average of those five numbers. If the average is above 30, then output hello, otherwise output bye. That's the question that was given for us to solve. So let's type out the question and let's see how you go about solving this, right? So to input five numbers, we want to make use of a for loop to be able to input the five numbers. So I'm going to say for X in range five numbers, I'm going to start from one up to six because it stops one less. And um, I am going to request the user. So we'll put a message that says enter number. And then we're going to get the number and store it in a variable called num. Uh, which will be an integer. And I'm going to say enter. Oh, why did I put a print statement here? Which is for that. So here's my message that says enter a number. And we need to sum up the number, so I need an accumulator, sum equals sum plus num. Because it's an accumulator, we need sum to be set to zero. So up to that point, simple and straightforward. Now I want to work out the average. Average is outside the loop, so that is something you had to figure out. It's the sum divided by five. It had to be outside the loop. It's not working out average while it is working out the sum. So what you need to do is this part. That is this part. Requires. You to sum up the numbers. That's your for loop where you are summing up the numbers. And when that for loop is finished after it is finished, then only you got the average, then only it is working out the average. Right, then the question says, it's, it's wanting you to check the average, if the average is above 30 or not. So now I've got the average, now let's test the average. If the average is greater than 30, then output hello. So it's print. Hello. Otherwise, otherwise means else. Else print. So that was effectively what was required. The first part is where you find the sum because the sum is required if you want to work out average. So the first part works out the sum. The second part works out the average. And then the third part checks the average. Once you've calculated the average, then only you can go and you can check the average, which is being done there. This is how you should have gone about doing it. To input five numbers, there's the, and to sum it up, there's your for loop. loop to input five numbers and to sum it up. And then you want to work out the average. Average. And finally, you want to work out whether it's greater than 30 or not. So this that that was what was required in solving the problem.